All right, so today we are doing an OG YouTube style video, Shop My Stash. So since I've stopped traveling and I've had an apartment, one of the most fun things has been just digging through my stash, whether it's clothing, makeup, whatever, and just re-wearing and rediscovering some of my old favorites. So that's what we're doing in today's video. I went through my makeup collection, found some stuff I haven't used in a long time, seeing what I think of them now. So along those lines of giving something new life and rediscovering things, I wanted to thank ThreadUp for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I actually need to go back and see exactly how long I've been shopping on ThreadUp, but it's gotta be over like six years at this point. I love thrifting and ThreadUp makes it super easy. They're the largest online thrift and consignment shop. It's a good way to help the planet out and also your wallet. ThreadUp has some good sales, some good deals. They also just make it super easy to find what you're looking for because you can sort by color, brand, style, size. I have all my sizes just pre-saved on there. So when I go on the app or on the website, everything that I could potentially fit is just right there. So I almost always just search the brands I know I already like. Like this dress, for example, is Abercrombie & Fitch. I always search Abercrombie on there. If you're new to ThreadUp, you can get 35% off your first order plus free shipping with the code Taylor. So I'll have them linked down below. I wanted some cute dresses and just springy colorful items and thread up delivered, let me tell you. So like I said, this dress is Abercrombie and Fitch. The estimated original price was $56 and I got it for $15.74. I am in love with this one. This is actually also Abercrombie. The estimated original price is $56 and I got it for $16.99. I could wear this as, you know, like right now actual dress or I could just throw this on like over a swimsuit. This top, I cannot wait to wear. I don't have anything quite like this. I feel like I can wear this with a bunch of different stuff. I could wear the skirt like high-waisted, tuck this in, or just wear this top with jeans or whatever, but this is Zara. The estimated retail price is $40, and I got it for $17.99. And then this skirt is Topshop. The estimated retail price is $68, and I got it for $9.59. Okay, this might be my favorite thing I found. This is so freaking cute. I feel like it's flattering. I don't have a bra on, but I feel like it'll be even cuter when I do have a bra on. Really cute length, love this color very springy. I can just picture this with like white sandals or little heels romping through some flower fields, you know? So ThreadUp is linked down below. And again, you can use the code Taylor to get 35% off your first order plus free shipping on ThreadUp. That plant is purple. Can't tell on camera if it looks cute or just dead. Okay, I'm excited to dig into some makeup I haven't used in a while. Already did my skincare. This thing for a minute I was using every single day, like a couple years ago, is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint SPF 30. I have on tan right now that's like pretty dark, so I'm not sure if this shade is gonna work. If it doesn't work, I think I'm gonna use my good old Purito BB Cream. This is in the shade 27 Sand Beige, and this is definitely dark enough, so I might have to mix in just a little bit of that. Oh, this you just roll on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to mix it. This is probably time to toss, honestly. <laughs> I'm doing some mixing on my face here. If you haven't heard of the Purito BB Cream, I've raved about it on my channel for years. It just looks so pretty any way you apply it. Like you can get a lot of coverage out of it, but you can also apply less, use your fingers. It wears well, has like a really pretty finish. So it's definitely adding some coverage to the milk skin tint right now. I just realized I forgot jewelry. Like see how it just covered that zit right up? Got the glow, got the coverage. This is one of those products that just like feels good on my skin. I'm gonna go put some jewelry on. Okay, now we're in business. So for brows, I wanna try two things I haven't done in a hot minute. I wanna go back to clear brow gel with a brow pen. I'm curious what I think of this now. I'm hoping the shade isn't too dark, but I'm gonna start off with the brow wax to kind of like fluff my brows up. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I also just want to like decide, do I want to keep this or do I want to declutter it? I do feel like these work the best for me if I coat both sides of my brows and then brush them up. This one always looks better. So I'm going to let those dry before I go in with the brow pen. So in the meantime, let's do concealer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Number no. 1 Fair. This is more like a color corrector kind of product, but sometimes these look really nice just as concealer. Oh, this is this feels a little dried out. <laughs> kind of warm this up. Okay, it's doing a good job of brightening, adding that like peach kind of undertone. This eye versus this eye. You can definitely see a difference. I actually don't feel like I need anything else over top of this. I'm trying to remember how this one wears. 
how are the brows doing? They definitely still feel very tacky. See if they dry down a little more. I'm kind of just like brushing them up and pressing them down with my finger. See, this side already fell. This happens to me with a lot of brow products that are supposed to be holding. I don't know if it's just because my hair is like pretty thick and coarse or what, but I mean, they're already fully down. The Too Faced brow gel, the clear brow gel is one of the only ones that really holds for me. I'll link that down below if you have like similar issues with your brows just falling. So this might be a little bit light for my skin tone right now. This is the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer in the shade Light Medium. This is one of those products that is so interesting and unique. It's like a cream, but you can use it on top of powders. You can use it as a bronzer. You can use it as just like all over kind of warmth. I don't know, it's just a unique product with a really beautiful finish. You can use it with a cream or a powder brush, but let's see how the shade is today. I think I'll get, yeah, there's like a little definition, but Actually, that's really pretty on my tone right now. Wait, I love that, like on the skin tone. Yeah, it just has, has this like very natural kind of softness to it. This tone right now is really doing it for me. There is a lighter shade though than this if you're fair. Okay, let's get the brows going. Looking a little naked. So this is a brow pen. I used to use a brow pen all the time and I wanna say for the last couple years I've solely been using like brow pencils. But this is the Profusion Good Brow Day Waterproof Brow Pen. So I wanna just like very lightly fill in the brows, hope it's not too dark. Someone's doing laundry above me, so it sounds like there's a freaking waterfall. Hopefully you can't hear that. Waterfall has stopped. The shade is definitely a little darker than what I've been doing lately. I'm used to a little lighter brows right now. Okay, so on the front of my brows, I actually really like how that looks. Like on the rest of my brows, I think I like the brow pencil better, but I did get some nice lift in the front. The polished shade of the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for here as far as eyes and like the rest of the makeup. This has a really pretty glow. Like, I don't feel like I need a blush top or anything with this one. Just with whatever's left over in the brush, I like to get my nose a little bit. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, it smells like vanilla. I've never noticed that before. One thing I haven't done in a while is use a powder foundation to set parts of my face. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in the shade 130. This is definitely light for right now. I'm just gonna be lightly setting the center of my face to get a little bit of the shine down. I mean, I like this level of a glow, but we're just doing something different here. The nice thing about using powder foundation for doing this is it adds some coverage. You just need to find a powder foundation formula that is like light enough to do this. Like I just want a, a light application, not like a thick powder. Just want to slightly flatten it, but I still want the glow to come through, which is exactly what we're getting here. Do you feel like I want a little more blush? So I'm gonna take the Give Beauty Lasting Love. I'm gonna take the lighter shade on the bottom, just apply a little bit more. I guess it's not lighter, it's just like rosier tone. The top one is glowier. Mm, I'm gonna mix them. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use a palette by an indie brand. This is Sydney Grace Love's Journey. If you haven't tried the Sydney Grace eyeshadows, the quality is amazing. Super pigmented, blends out well. They're just beautiful, like the shimmers and mattes. And this palette's great because there's cool and warm tones in here. So I think I'm just gonna do some warm browns, but I'm gonna start off with the shade Everlasting Love. Ooh, I actually think I'm gonna do matte browns, but like a deeper color all over the lid. I'm gonna take Unforgettable and pop that all over the lid. And I think I'm just gonna really smoke this out on the lower lash line too. The mattes are so good. I don't even have a primer on right now and they're just like blending out like a dream. I do you find it really cool and impressive when even with all of the makeup out there, all the makeup launches and brands and Sephora and Ulta and everywhere, like it's very cool that there's still indie brands that are going strong. I wanna say last year, maybe a year and a half ago, I did do an indie makeup video. So I'll link that in the eye down below. Taking that same shade, Unforgettable, I'm gonna blend that on my lower lash line. This liner I haven't used in so long is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Ink in the shade Matte Wood. I like using liquid liners sometimes to smudge because then they just can last better than like smudging an eyeshadow. I don't know why I have my mirror so far away. If you're gonna do this though, some formulas are better than others for doing this and you also have to work pretty quick because liquid liners can dry pretty fast. Can't see shit in this mirror. This is the BH Cosmetics Power Pencil in Beige. Love this for the waterline. Even though I'm doing kind of like a smokier brown look all the way around, I want my waterline to be bright to kind of like open things back up. I can't really remember what I think of this mascara, so I do want to give it another go. It's the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This has one of those bendy kind of brushes, which I don't know. Sometimes they can be good, other times they can't because I feel like it almost gives you less control because instead of just clinging to the brush and you being able to move it, 
the wand is like also moving at the same time. It's looking pretty good. I would like a little more separation. I think this is one that I would have to layer a second mascara just to get some separation going on. Yeah, like these, this side, they're all just clumping together. I'm going with this mascara to just break it up. There we go. I do feel like I have more curl than usual. I'm gonna take my lower lash mascara, MAC Extend Play. I wanna just extend my eyes out a little bit, so I am gonna take a liner and just do a little flick just to make it look like a lash, like a very thin line. That's it, I feel like just doing that little flick really elongates my eyes. Kinda wanna bring my brows in a little bit more. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna use a liner I haven't used in a while. This is the Huda Beauty in the shade Honey Beige. These lip liners last very well. I think I have my lip balm wiped off on, wiped off enough. You know when you say a sentence and you're unsure if that was just English? Wiped off enough, yeah, that's right. Then I'm gonna take this NYX Shine, what's it called? Shine Loud Gold Crusher. This stuff is interesting. It's very high pigment. It stays on your lips. Like if you want a glossy finish, but you want it to actually stay on, this stuff is an awesome formula. You do the color and then like the sealant gloss on the other side. I need to order more shades of these actually. It has a scent, but it just smells like lipstick. So let that dry down. And then we're gonna go in with the clear top coat. You can feel it dry. It gets like tackier as it dries. My stomach's growling. Okay, gloss time. Do you remember that CoverGirl product like this that came out probably like, like it was when I was in college. I think it came out like 12 years ago. It's a similar kind of concept. It has the two ends with like a sealant and a matte color on the other side. That also is super long lasting. I feel like a couple corner lashes could go a long way right now, but I just am not in the lash mood. I'm just not. I'm gonna take out the rollers. Whoa. All right, this is the final makeup look. I always like when you get to kind of like shop your own collection because you just get re-excited to use products that you already have. But I feel like the thing, one of the standouts for me is the Love's Journey palette. And especially with the cool tones, like if you're a cool tone gal, that palette is beautiful. I'm gonna keep this guy out, the liner, because again, I just, I love smoking liner, especially brown lately, and using a liquid is just a good way to make it last longer. If I had a less cool toned and lighter shade of the brow pen, I feel like I would actually bring this back in my life because they look good, I just don't like the color. I think the color is too gray for me now, especially with like the more brown hair. So I think I just need to get a different shade of this, but it actually looks like nice and lifted. I don't think the brow gel did anything and the Makeup by Mario product. Like I said, this is just one that whenever I use it again, I'm like, oof, looks natural. And this also is one of those that if you use a tinted SPF, or even not just an SPF, but then you wanna just warm up your face. This is a beautiful product for that because of the finish. It just has a nice natural satin kind of finish and it's just very quick. So everything on my face today, along with anything else I'm wearing and thread up will be linked down below in the description box. Again, you can use the code Taylor to get 35% off your first order on ThreadUp. You can go and see a ton of items that I'm currently loving on ThreadUp, so you can shop directly my favorites. I picked out some good things, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.